A little bit tired, though, I have to, to say, and uh, Gao really took it to her. She's great on attack, uh, but uh, the Thai player from Thailand, she's playing really aggressive and smooth out on court as well. I'm going to take a look now at our chair umpire and service judge. Yeah, and Gao Fangji's got that height advantage as well. Just stops, prevents her opponent from punching too flat. Cuts it out quite nicely. It's not the quickest mover, but she's got a long reach. China. to serve. La ball. Play. Wang. Love. Oh, Gao Fangji yet to find the court. Well, Katong's really impressive out there. She moves very quick. She gets on attack. She hits well. And there it is. Wow. Beautiful shot. She has weapons at the back, but she's very quick. So uh, really fun to watch. Mm. She's an entertaining Love. player. And I got to talk to her with her this, this morning and yesterday morning. She's at uh, the hotel I'm at. And... Really super nice, great English, and uh, and really enjoying badminton right now. Well, that's nice to hear. And you've been chatting with our coach as well. So I hear. <laughs> yeah, I, I've known uh, Kim Jae Young for many years. She used to play, and, and now she's coaching in, in Thailand, Thailand as well. Well, well left out the back again. As you mentioned, Gao Pengji really having a hard time finding the court. She's dangerous at the back of the court. Uh, Gao, she hits hard, good angles. Uh, that big long reach as well. Yet to settle into this match just yet, uh, Gao Fangji. There's a sign of Katatong's speed. That's in from Gao. Service over. Wang, four. Good attack. Comes in nice and quick. Changes the angle on that one. Comes across the body. Four. Bit of a surprise. Yeah, I think Katatong was expecting that one down the line. Katong changing the, Five, the angles as well. Three. Great get. Yeah, Gao Fangji's got that nice forehand sort of cross block off a of smash, hasn't she? She was using it well yesterday. Oh, oh, nearly pulls out one more. 
six. Well, that's hard work out Two. there. Katong setting herself up beautifully again. Takes the first smash, puts it right to the body, comes across, hard one to defend. She's a very well patterned player, isn't she? Her footwork's great. Well, that was very low. She's a little slow, Gao. Yeah. Coming, coming to the shot, I know she's taped up. Uh, both ankles are taped up, her wrist is taped up. She was playing on the, uh, the best of her game back in 2017, 2018. She was runner up at the Singapore Open. And had some injuries and then with COVID, now she's just working her ranking back. Seven is over. Four, seven. Over eight four. Opens up her racket, takes it across. She mixes it up very well. Katong. Wonderful net shot from Katong. Okay. Yeah, she's quick to the net. Oh, she tumbled that one. Nine, nice spin. Four. Watch how high she reaches up for it. Good cross right there. Nice. Just that bit of explosive footwork, isn't it? To uh, After the split, to get to the shot. I think that's the contrast difference between Gao Fangji, who seems a bit more sort of one pace around the court. Ten, four. play from Gao Fangji. Already off the serve, she Seven puts that over. pressure on. Five, ten. Yeah, look how far her base was from the net. She's only just behind the tee. Great exchanges that time. Katong comes out on top. 11, Quick five, racket. Interval. Nice flat game. Puts it right at the body of Gao. Six points to gap. Supernida Katong off to a great start in this women's singles final here at the mid-game interval. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Eleven, five, play. Beautiful. Two shots deep into the corner. Not much drift here today either, so the shuttle staying true. Well, fine. Yes, she changes the angle. Great footwork. Just gets it back. Good combination again. Straight down the line. Right in the back corner. Again, she mixes up the shuttle so well. She has her cross court drop as well as that uh, straight smash. Over six, twelve. Yeah, yeah. 
start with over 13, 6. Again, read at the body. Yeah, that's where Gao Fangi seeming, seems to struggle a bit more. Tall frame of Gao Fangi. Five foot ten. Defends the uh, more powerful shots out wide a bit better. <laughs> Ambitious from Castellon. Oh, that was a tough one from her position to play that Seven shot. Over. It was short, not Seven. down in the corners Seven. as well. So for her to open up her racket and, and try that, that was it was going to be a tough shot to execute. Cheap point for Gal. Eight, thirteen. That's a wonderful Ooh. net shot. I'm not sure. That might have been out. Yeah. I can't tell on that angle. The line judges seemed a bit undecided as well. Suparina, Kayton, Redirecting Shalem, it at the neck. Takes that cross. I'm not sure if it clipped that line or not, but uh, Kayton puts quick. her arm up. Yeah, that's yeah. out. Yeah, that's the time was quick to react, wasn't she? It's a challenge. That was a good challenge. Service over. 14-8. Play. Going at the body again. Tactic that's working. For Katong. Yeah, very 15, clever. She knows uh, Gao has that big reach as well. Bring it to, to the body. Right here, looking for the right armpit. Handcuffed her there. Poor Lee from Gao. Yeah, she was wishing it went out the side, but no chance. Well, inside the line. 16, 8. And Katong really quick. Nice flat shot. All right, again, looking for that corner. Another challenge. Might have caught the outside of the line, this one. Line yeah. judge called it in. <laughs> I'm not sure if she knows. She's, she's checking it out up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just caught the outside. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. It's a tough one, too, when it crosses the line like that. Service over. 9, 16. Play. Wow, what a net shot from Castong. Yeah, fantastic touch. Well Seven played. Over. Just turns her wrist, breaks her Seven wrist to play two. the backhand. Nine. And yeah, catches the out. tape as well. Yeah. Last second. Just skims over the tape for the point.
What a kid. Yeah, Gao Fangji doing so well here, dictating the rally. Finds a winner cross court. Seven is over. Longest rally we've seen. Ten. Seventeen. She's barely getting that one back. Yeah, Gao Fangji. If it's short like that, she has so many options and she just gets her height, cuts over the shuttle and takes it across. A couple of those were almost a bit easy for her. I think Katatong didn't apply enough pressure when she had the opportunity. Well, Katatong really tries to do the, the fast shots, actually get, trying to take away the time from Gao. Quick lifts off the net or, or redirecting it at the net as, as well. If you give Gao, Gao time, uh, she has a dangerous racket, so trying to take that away. Yeah, if Katong's able to keep her pace of footwork high here, she can take that away. And those errors from Gao will help. The game Nine beginning ten. to slip away. Ten. As soon as you give her time like that, she can hit hard. She has the angles. That is over. You have to play those Eleven. clears with fast pace, Nineteen. or you're you're in big trouble. Gal gets up nice and high, puts a power into that one right at the body. Oh, I nearly crept over too. Great return of serve. Over. Executed well. 20, game point, 11. And Katatong now with nine game points in the opener. Good length. Wonderful shot, cross, slice. And Gao's Stand very dangerous over. in the forehand. She gets up. She yeah. has those different options, so 20. you have to take it away from her. Right there comes again. Takes the pace off. Oh, the net cord from Gao. Driving return of serve into the body. Reaction 20. from Gao, good enough. Bit of luck there, great pressure again. Katong right at the body, just hits the tapes and tumbles over. Two game points saved by Gao Fangji. She's coping with this pressure from Katong well as well. Fourteen, twenty. Quick to the net. She was there. Not enough. Fault. Called a fault, but I think that was the shuttle that might have hit the net. Uh, possibly the racket. You're not allowed to touch the net, or it's a fault. And Bobby, this is where you, Play. Katong, you don't want to give Gao the confidence going into the second game as well. It, it, it's tough. I think the racket head did touch the net. The movement of the net was quite low below the tape. And it can only have been the tape that the shuttle touched. But yeah, you're absolutely right. And the longer this goes on, the more confidence Gao Fangji is going to have. Tom really trying to expose Ten. that deep forehand corner. But it's one too many. And Gao Fangji had too much work to do to save that opening game. Katong off to the better start. 18 minutes of play. 
an advantage to the tie in this women's singles final. 21-15, the game score. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, love all, play. So the game restarts. Supernita Katzatong held her nerve despite what looked like a comeback at the end of the opening game for Gao Fang Ji. She saved four oh. game points. What a shot from Katzatong. Tiny and mighty 21 shot rally. Wow. She gets her racket up nice and quick, takes it across. Fantastic. Here it is. So quick, takes it across again. Not deep enough. Service over, one, all. I saw the coach say, try, try to go around the head on Katong. Try to put it in the backhand corner. So let's see if we'll see more down that side. Oh, gorgeous cross court. Perfect, the net from Gao Fanji. Just watch her racket too. When she comes Three. to the net, she has those yeah. options. You know she can play straight, but uh, she just changes her racket angle. Last second, scrapes over the net. Yeah, technically that was beautiful. There's that reverse slice again from Katzong. A useful weapon. Good defense. Oh, it's perfect from the tie. Finds the line with the drop Stand shot. Over. Tempted to challenge for a second, I think. Gao Fang Ji. Yeah, it's quick, quick pace in the, the lifts for sure. Nice and easy. Beautiful racket just comes over it. One of her role models was her teammate, Rajanak Intanon. We saw her play last to Gao yesterday. A little tired. She made the finals last week of the Canadian Open. 
She's sitting at number seven in the world. And there's another Thai player at 11. We have Pom Pui. Yes, Pui Shoshana at, at 14. And, and, and then she's number four. So Thailand has really great depth Three. in China. Oh. Always had it. But uh, now you see Thailand and the women's singles. Time she's tried that deceptive backhand. Yeah, she that has that shot too, but uh, oh. it's failing her today. Mm. She just holds it, wiggles that racket, and then tries to go cross. There it is. I've seen it work many times before, but she's a little frustrated. Will she keep trying it till it goes over? Now survives the midcourt onslaught. Well, she's digging deep here, Gafangji. Very steady player. Five, three. A la lazy looking shot, yeah. a tired looking shot, wasn't it? From uh, Katsong. Well, if you watched her racket, it actually dropped a little bit. Her elbow drops, and as soon as that does it, you really have to push it forward. If not, it'll it'll go into the net. So if you're going to wait for it, you have to hit it different angle and a little harder. Great attack work from Katsong. That cross push, that net was fantastic. It really sets up the kill shot. Oh. Yeah, she was waiting for Five. her opening right here. Sees it. That shot there. Opens it up. Excellent placement. Look at that, explosive on her feet. Kill from Katzong. Yeah, the speed, the leg power gets up, Five, puts it away. Four. What a great setup, though. She's nice and confident out on court. Beautiful net. Waits for that opportunity. Second one, no chance. Nice quick racket, gets her, just does a crouch Six. defense. Five. Yeah, she knew from the serve what she was looking for. Almost a drive serve, wasn't it? Cal had no choice but to hit hard in return or go over the top. Whoa. Right, net shot from Gao. Seven is over. Six. All. Great net shot. Just hits the tapes and then puts it away. Mistake there. She pushed Gao Seven. into her forehand. Six. Nice quick pace. 
had it sitting there. Here it goes. Good finish. Yeah, not enough. The height wasn't there. Right on Gao's racket. Watch Katong a few times too. She'll take Eight, it back to the same six, corner sometimes. Two, three shots in a row. It's actually hard. You're hitting on one corner and then you have to go back to the same corner. Yeah, it hurts the legs. on her feet, Katsong, covering the court nicely. A fantastic rally. Really putting go to her forehand, Gao to her forehand all the time. There you have it, uh, two, three in a row to that same corner. Yeah, she's relentless, isn't she? She doesn't um, attack the backhand at all. Oh. Yeah, with that long reach, she almost had it over the net. Seven that was over. a 39 shot rally. But again, Seven. Kao Tong really working Eight. hard out there. Trying to pump her to her forehand. Mixes it up. It's an important point to win as well. Not just for the scoreboard, but mentally losing a long rally like that. Yeah, it's a tough work out there. Both players are playing well. Katong, though, had a big year beating Carolyn Murren and also PV Sindhu. So really climbing up the rankings quickly here. Fires. Shuttle goes under the net. That is over. Nine. Seven. Gal yeah, will take that. Just right at the body. I think she would like that one back. Brilliant smash. Finds inside the line. Over. She's like a pocket rocket, isn't she? Yeah, I was gonna, uh, watch how quick Eight. she bounces with Nine. her legs right here. Gets behind it, nice and high. Puts it to the ground. Right in front of her, ready to push forward. to tape that time. Nine. Katong oh. really looking forward on that rally. You watch her base comes up a little bit, looking at the net. And then again, last second, nice and loose in a racket, and takes it cross. Yeah, and Gao found she just can't quite match her opponent for pace, can she? Footwork pace, I mean. Oh, Katong's so quick out there. Kidding with her, it's from crossing the streets in Bangkok. You have to be quick, go crossing the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, superb shot. Beautiful. Filled with confidence now, isn't she? Ten, nine. You know, she has that cross court drop too. She mixes it up beautifully. Nice, quick racket. Gets behind it again. Changes that angle, that's, that's what uh, Katanga is doing really well. Just 5-4, but she moves beautifully around the court. Oh, 
Uh, brilliant from Gal Fangi. And that's the power that she can over. produce. Ten. Oh. Ten that time, Gal gets full power, gets behind that shot. 352 kilometers per hour. For me, that's how she's going to have to approach the rest of this match, is take these chances and hit hard and try and go for those lines, drag Katong out, because I think the longer the rallies go and the longer the match goes, the more it goes in Katong's favor. Yeah, she's very fit right now, very, playing at a high level, but uh, yeah, Gao needs to get on that uh, attack. Just wide from Katong. A very even contest in the second so far. Gao Fangji with the narrowest of leads at the mid-game interval. Katong though, one game up. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Thank you, coach. Coach, thank you. Eleven, ten, play. Big smash. Service over. I don't think she really meant 11. it to be an outright oh. winner. She just unleashed yeah, everything nice. she had here. It's a quick around the head. And she was moving in as well to follow up. There's her net. Needs to get a few more over. Build that confidence up. She's attacking Gao now. Oh, the line judge has called it in. It's a good challenge from, Fa uh, from Gao Fangji, I think. Gao Fangji challenge, call it in. Indecisive, the line judge. Can't be more than 13 years old. Ooh, that's close. And that's Correct. why he was indecisive. Out. Good challenge. The young line judge will be over. heading to bed without any 20, dinner tonight. 11, play. Great net shot, backhand cross from Katong. Oh, this is excellent. She's up to her game here. <laughs> And it's showing on court. Everything was great. The intensity of racket and of speed of footwork. 12. Oh. 345 on that one. Nice and quick. Again, yeah, the, the speed in that rally. It's hard work, though. That's hard to maintain at that level. Quick racket pushes her way forward. Kim Ji Young agrees with that rally. <laughs> Beautiful shot, wow. Incredible. Could you see that coming? No, very deceptive, wasn't it? She's got the slice, the straight clip like she did there. Dangerous in that round the head corner. Wow. We've seen two big smash winners straight down the line from that corner in the last few minutes too. She but mixes it up so well. Yeah. And, that, and that last one just changes the racket direction. Hard for Gao Fangji now. I mean, it's difficult, isn't it, to increase your own speed? you know, to pick yourself up and play faster, more intense. You can come down, but how do you get yourself up? Four 
up. A little bit of luck. Hits it. Just goes over. Oh, can't do much with that one. <laughs> no, it's all going Katatong's way. Shot flat into that rear corner. Really attacking that forehand deep corner, isn't she, of Gao all day long? And it's fast too. She's not giving her time. It's a fast punch clear or f fast attacking clear. Oh, f what a rally. There's that reverse slice again. She's composed though, Gao. She's staying in this. Dangerous. Give her time in the forehand. Oh, it's just oh. wide. It's a brilliant rally. But Katon's drop shot outside the court. That is over. 43 shots. Longest rally by quite 14. some margin. 14. Play. Katon asking to change the shuttle. I think she just wants a bit more of a break. Long busting rally. She said, I'll, I'll take that break anyway. I think Gao, Gao doesn't mind too much either. <laughs> Good touch from Gao. Just gone wide again. Katong taking it to her, but missing. I pulled it too much. Again, you have to be oh. careful when your Gao hits more down the middle. And if you're trying to go across, the angles aren't there. A harder shot to play and out the side. It's a really brave effort, this, from Katong. I don't Five think over. she wants to go to three. No, she mixes up her, her shots, too. She's playing really well. Again, gets 14. up nice and high on this one. Takes it straight. Wonder whether Gao Fangji can live with this intensity from Katsong. I mean, if she can, if she can find a way to take it to a third, the question will be whether Katsong can keep this speed up throughout another that half an hour game. You know. Yes. Yeah. She would like to. She would like to win it for sure in, oh. in two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why I think, not? I think Gao could maintain this level to the end of a third game, but whether Katsong can. It's actually hard on Gao too, but it's hard to tell when she's tired or not. She has the same e expression right off the bat. So <laughs> even though she she's just breathing looks tired hard, at the start, doesn't she? <laughs> no, she holds it in. She doesn't want her opponent to know how tired she is as well. Oh, good save. Loose shot from Gao. Katang on the attack. Oh, beautiful shot. Yeah, well wow. Played. Takes a pace off. Over. Nice fast shots, and then all of a sudden you take that 15. pace away. 15. Gao with that big reach, but not big enough. Watch this. Beautifully placed. Wow. Yeah, it wow. fell well inside the service line, didn't it? Well, Katon's looking for a win. She did win the Sea Games, but uh, never had a super. 300 or 500, she made the finals at the Indian Open, but uh, looking for a big win. She had challenges. Great shot from Katong. And she can see the finish line if she keeps playing like this. She's filled with confidence. 
Yeah, great racket skill too. But she, it, it, she sets herself up beautifully. So quick on the, her feet, quick racket, takes it cross on that. A fist pump and a look to the coach. It's all going well for Supernida Katong. Go, play. Well, Gao asking for the courts to be mopped. She wants a little break. <laughs> yeah. Umpire staring at her. This lasts much longer. She's in trouble. Just gets away with it, I think. <laughs> I don't think Katong will mind. Oh, brilliant. Options from that round the head corner for Kat Tong. Oh. oh, and some days it all just goes your way. Everything's working for the tie right now. Yeah, lucky break. Thank Hits you. it hard enough, it goes over. But now look at Gao, she's taking her time. She's really struggling. Trying to gain her breath. And well, she's trying to live with this pace from Kat Tong, and she's not quite able to do it. And it bounces over. I think she wants a break here, actually. She's uh, calling for some medical attention as well. And we have Chris Lawrence. Yeah, the deputy USA. director's out there. But a minute ago, she was looking for the same break. But because the floor needed mopping, you know? So how much of this is... I'm not sure if that's her knee or her calf on the right-hand side there. Trying to get some spray on, Inside the, on the, the back. Knee. Yeah, the knee as well. I mean, how many days when you were at uh, your best and playing tournament after tournament, how many days were you actually 100% fit? Yeah, it's the, tough. These yeah. players are all carrying some kind of niggle. Right, usually it's overuse injuries. Some of these players are playing 17, 18, 22 tournaments in a year. Mm. So it is a lot on your body as well. Always take good care of yourself. Great medical team here as well. And a lot of teams actually come with their physio, come with their trainers and, and make sure you're, you're ready to go on court. But there's a lot of twisting, turning, jumping, springing. So badminton does take a toll on your body. Play. Yeah, we heard this morning that it's a pretty firm court as well, isn't it? It's not sprung like a sprung wooden floor like um, some events are, which well, there's a mat underneath it, and yeah, yeah. the players, you don't get as much spring, but they, they say it, it actually feels pretty good here as well. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, excellent shot. Just G holds it at the net, but you see. You see she's gone, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's, she's struggling. She has to be in 100% to beat uh, Katong today, and, and if she's just slightly injured, she might even you just know it's two points. Do you stop, or do you and don't want to get hurt? You don't want to get uh, more no. injured as well. But it's in your mind when that niggle's there and you don't want to lunge on that right leg, on that right knee. You kind of are more willing to pull out of that movement, that shot. Both calves and ankles heavily strapped as well. Played it that might have gone left. Oh, oh she yeah. had her again. <laughs> Beautiful racket, though. She wiggles it and into the net, but Gao really digging deep right now. She is, and she's not walking all that comfortably still. No, you can, you can tell she's struggling with that right knee. Maybe it's the top of the calf or behind the right knee. It's hard too when, when someone's injured and, and you're playing against someone mentally, you want to keep, she's gotten to 19 points, you want to keep up the same pace and the same, same strategy, but then all of a sudden someone's on, injured on the other side, it, it sometimes affects, affects you mentally as well. Yeah, and you start overthinking it. Beautiful, that time it worked. That time her little wiggle and her racket worked, puts it to the net with the match point.
That's a lovely looking backhand net shot, that small double action again. And it's been a fine performance, a really top draw performance for Super Nita Katzong today. Championship point here. Good save from Gao. Gao attacking well. Lift right on the back line. Oh, what a rally. Oh, big smash, but Gao survives again. Off the net. And the open court, Gao's floors. Supernita Katon's done it. The coach rushes in for a hug. Brilliant performance from the tie. Tremendous week she's had. And an exhausted looking Gao Fangji, still on her knees on the far side, just getting up now. And she's had a tremendous week too. Yeah. She beat PV Sindhu and Intanon to get to this stage. Not surprised she's tired. What a rally to finish it off. Big cheers from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's the coach. Yes, yeah, happy to win. <laughs> She'll take it. She's more excited than uh, Katong. Well, Katong played incredibly well, really taking it to her. Great on attack, good on defense. Gao's leg a little bit sore on the, on the, at the end, but uh, yeah, great tournament for her, beating two PV Sindhu and Rajanak Intanon. Wasn't easy to get into the final. But Katong won better. Again, the attack, the explosive power in her legs really took it to her today and pulls off a win. Yeah, and she could keep going, couldn't she? She's looking in great shape. So straight games win then for Supanida Katong of Thailand, the number six seed, 21-15, 21-16. Stay with us for the prize giving ceremony and also plenty more badminton to come yet. Got two doubles and the men's singles final later on today as well. Katong being shown where to go. Yeah, and Gao Fangji follows. It's off screen at the moment, but she's still walking a bit gingerly down there. Well, it was a tremendous final rally, wasn't it? Yes, it, both ways it was played out so beautifully, just barely getting to those shots. Great on defense, waiting for that opportunity. Again, sends it to the back of the court. Gao really reaching. What a fantastic way to finish it off. But it's right here. Barely gets going. that one back. Gao. Wide open. Yeah, Gao gave everything she had in the entire match. Just a shame she wasn't quite 100% fit at the end. Hard work and the arms go up. Wow. <laughs> it's wonderful sporting scenes, isn't it? Well, tough one. But super needy. Katatong played so well today. Kept up that pace. Hard to do and really took it to her. Well, this guy's got Go Thailand on one side. Just in <laughs> case there were Indian players in the, in the finals, he's got Go India on the, uh, on the other side of that board as well. There, there we go. There you go. <laughs> well, they came out to watch PP Sindhu and Sen and all the other teammates. Great badminton in India right now, but... Uh, well, we've got another player from Thailand coming up later, Kumadut Viditsa in the men's singles, so... That gentleman in the crowd will be happy. But now we celebrate the women's singles. Gao Fangji, our runner-up this year. And it's tough. She's not seated coming in because of her ranking has slipped due to injury. She was number 13 in the world. So she had two big wins, like you said. And there's Supernita Katong. Our US Open champion for 2023. Tremendous speed of movement, some great shots as well. Yeah, Well-deserved win this week. Yeah, she played solid all week long. Thailand won the women's singles back in 2013. Sapsuri 
won that. She used to be a, a singles player, and now she turned over to a great doubles player. She's a fine women's yeah. doubles player too, wasn't she, a few years back? Yes. So good to see her teammate take this title for Thailand. Winning the bronze back in 2022 at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Sapsuri and cheering on her teammate, I'm sure. the height difference. They're about the same height now. <laughs> and um, yeah. Kat Tong standing on a box. <laughs> yeah, 5'4 five, and 5'10 uh, five, five, is Gao. But uh, so what, so is that a six inch box over there? Must be. <laughs> yeah, she's, well, she might even be 5'3. I'm not quite sure, Kat Tong, but. Um, she move, moves beautifully around the court. Again, solid play today. Well deserved. And she's got a few more pennies in the bank now as well. You can see there on the check, 15,750 US dollars for that title win. That'll fund another couple of tournaments, no doubt. Yeah, and there's four four great players from Thailand all looking, only two get to go to the Olympics if you're in the top 16. Both of you have to be in the top 16. So also fighting to get these world ranking points uh, and Olympic uh, ranking points as well. I like how they've dated the check, as if as if they're going to take that <laughs> six feet board down to the bank. Don't want to be behind them in the bank with that check. No. Proud moment. Super Nita Katong. Well, hey. coming up next, in a <laughs> that's the coach as well. Kim Ji Young. Look at the big smile. Yeah. Great teamwork. Wonderful scenes. Well, she's coached in India, New Zealand, Germany, Taipei, and now in Thailand. In Korea, of course, now yes. in Thailand. Women's doubles coming up in a few moments. Margaret Fruegard and Sarah Tuerson, the number one seed from Denmark, are taking on a very impressive looking Chinese duo of Liu Shengxu and Tan Ning. That's coming up after these highlights.
Two terrific finals down here in Council Bluffs, the USA. The US Open 2023, we turn our attention to our third match, the women's doubles, Margaret Frugard and Sara Tuerson. Number one seeds from Denmark, but despite that seeded position, they've got it all to do today. It's a very strong looking Liu Shengxiu and Tan Ning from China. Well, the quarterfinals full of Chinese and Chinese Taipei pairs. The second seeds were outclassed by Liu and Tan at the bottom of the draw, who looked tough to beat this week. Xu and Lin came through a thrilling all Taipei match to get to that semi-final yesterday. But the Danes offered more intensity, and they're on to their second World Tour event title. A uh, final, rather. <laughs> Let's not get too far ahead just yet. Well, careers, Bake and Lee are comfortably in top spot in the race to the World Tour Finals women's doubles rankings at the moment, with two Korean pairs, two other Korean pairs inside the top 10. There are Trugard and Tuerson. Looking pretty relaxed and smiley. Yeah, that World Tour Finals rankings, interesting. Fukushima and Hirota from Japan are on the climb in second, you may have seen. And Chen and Jia were all the way down.